Good morning and welcome to another edition of Outside the Journey, where we will do a preview of today's racing, the 8th of August at Turfontaine. But before we look at the fields and, and the betting, just a few, one or two notes. Um, for those who are watching Outside the Journey, what Outside the Journey do is we as, uh, do a form analysis of each race, and then we will we give punters outside the selections that they can use in their play. What we normally do is we give three selections. The first selection is our outright selection. That is the, the, the selection that we do think has the best chance in that race to win the race, the best horse to win that race. We are not always correct, but we, are, we do sometimes find the winners more often than not. Then we give two outsider selections that we think can either place or win. And then by doing so, increase your dividend because ultimately you are looking to find the outsider so that you can get the, the larger payouts because making money on, on favorites is not that easy. So uh, you can subscribe to our channel and ring the bell. And every time that we post a new video, you will get a notification about the video. Now we are also on uh, we are on social media where you can find us on Twitter, Instagram, or you can WhatsApp of, uh, us for if you need any information. We are also looking for the sponsor to sponsor this page. Um, if you want to advertise something, you're more than welcome to talk to us. We will give you a very generous rates, and our um, preview goes out all over social media every day. Just want to look at some results or past results. Yesterday at Ferry, the 7th of August, we gave you the following outright selections that won. There's five, number seven, Princess Carlisi at 92. Then we give you a nice outsider, race six, number five, Benny Carlo at 16 to one, and race eight, number two, Wicked Glen at four to one. Then at the Val, um, on the 6th of August, we gave you a quartet box 15 to one. And also, uh, outside selection, uh, that one uh, was number three, Miss Cap Marla. Now, what happened here in race number five was our selections for that race was number 12 to win, and number two and three was our recommended outsiders. So they ran in the first three, paying 724 rand a win. And what I always say to people is take those three selections of us and put it in a 10 rand trifecta. Uh, because if you put it in a 10 rand trifecta, you get like 1.66%. So if you did that, you would have gotten more than a thousand rand back on a, on a 10 rand trifecta. I also did say in my video preview that I do expect Courage, which was 50 to 1 at that time, to run an improved race. And he duly did running, running fourth. So if you took that three selections and you listened to my advice on the, on the video, you would have gotten the, the quartet paying more than 15,000 Rand. And then we also strongly recommended Franklin, and we said in our video preview that Franklin, we do believe, has got a very good chance of winning this race. He went down to win this race, and I was amazed to see he was paying 970 for a win on the tote. Of course, at the bookmakers, he was about 5 to 1, and 350 a place. I couldn't believe the plays pay out on that horse. We also gave number six, Jive Express as our outsider selection for that race. That ran second, giving you exact of 47 Rand 10 cents. So it is really worthwhile to subscribe to our services. And our services subscribe to Outsider Genie from um, Form Analysis. We give you a race by race selection, outright winner, and two possible outsider selections. We give you value bets that are normally more than six to one. Best bets of the day, no odds on, because you can find the odds on yourself but you need the genie to get you the outsiders. We give, sometimes we give best bets as high as six to one. On the vault, 21 July, 21st of July, we gave you Express from the USA, from the US, which was 13 to two at the time of my selections. And that won by four, four links. And we give you suggested trifectas and quartet selections. And as you've just seen, sometimes they pay quite handsomely. We also give you affordable PA and pick six, which you can use as a, build, as a basis to build around your pick six. You can use some of my selections, you can use all of them, or you can use your selections and then maybe add some of our outsider selections. That is all up to you. Our subscription is currently 500 Rand a month. 
um, and you can contact us at WhatsApp. Uh, just please note that uh, since our week has already passed, if you want us want to subscribe for the rest of the month, that will now be 400 Rand for now till the end of the month. All right, now let's go, let's go racing. We, we kick off at the, at the different time today. And I can tell you guys, I think it's extremely difficult cards. Generally, there are smaller fields, but generally, I uh, really do think that this is going to be a difficult card. And, you know, the whole week we were on a hiding, um, pick six carryovers. So, um, yeah, but let's try, you know, every day is a new day. And let's have a look and see where we can pick a few winners for you. We start off with the first race betting. Number two, you lay 29 to 20. 4 to 1 Spice Market, 11 to Liverpool Legend, 7 to 1 Flying First Class, 14 to 1 Making a Sense, so Sunside Beach, and last, last going west, 25 to 1 and longer the rest. So let's have a look at the form. As I said before, I can't touch on all horses because at the end the video is, going, uh, is getting too long and people get impatient. I want to scroll down to number number 9. Number nine is flying first class. It's a Salvano out of a jet master. Me, Polo Jet. Polo Jet has thrown some nice winners uh, in their time. This was debut on the 16th of July, over the 1600 meters on the inside course and was drawn 10 out of 14. Now, under sort, and on the inside course, drawing 10 out of 14 is not the ideal situation. But he said he had gave an orchid strike at 1100 meters, but still managed to run on from behind and at the 22.6. Third fastest to finish. If you have, look here at the 1300 meters, I had 400 meters, he was still 13 lengths behind. He made up six lengths. And I really think that this horse has got the potential over this course and distance. Randall Simons will, will know the horse now. The only drawback again is the draw 13, but I'm sure this horse will be one of the horses running on at the end of the race. Then I also want to have a look at another horse. And, uh, just scroll down here, and that is number 11, Last Going West. A captain of all by Western Wintermere. I'm sure this horse is going to appreciate his 1600 meter. Did debut over 1200 meters and has had some decent runs. Also running on a little bit at the end, first race got bumped. Okay, and then say never dangerous. It can be that this horse was a little outpaced over the 1200 meters, and I'm sure over the 1600 meters will run a far better race. Unfortunately, also drawn 10. But this is the stand side uh, course, and that is not such a, a, key, a piece of death as with the, e, uh, the inside course. And there are a few other ones that we can look at. Uh, um, at. Um, I just want to scroll quickly. Um, here we have the Liverpool Legend that shows um, a nice race in the same race that, that I've just showed you. Ran second behind Sacred Lotus, but last time in a juvenile behind anything goes, fluff it lines. And then um, Yuli Light has also run some decent races. Has uh, run two seconds, definitely in with a chance. First time out over 69 meters, but on the breeding, suggests it shouldn't be a problem. Drawn to certainly in with a, a big chance in this race. Um, another horse that I think will improve today over the 69 meters is making a scene. Um, has run two days behind Peace on the Rocks. Then I don't know what happened on this race behind Springs of Caramel. It was in the nursery over 16, over 1,200 meters. Maybe the pace was too fast. I don't know. Last time out, carried in saddle slip. So you can forgive that run. And I'm sure making a scene will run a better race. Drawn one, definitely a horse to include in all your selections. Then we move down to race number two, which is also a maiden plate over 1,600 meters for three-year-olds, Colts and Geldings. Let's have a look at the betting. And here we are. The betting is as follows. Um, number 10 sits liaison, 14 to 10. 12 trumps express, 33 to 10. 4 Enrico Cecchetti, 9 to 2. Summerdale, 8 to 1, 10 to 1. Carolina Reaper, and 13 to 1, and longer the rest. So let's have a look at this race. Uh, first of all, I'm going to go down here, and I want to go to number, number 3. <coughs> Carolina Reaper. Carolina Reaper is a, a flower alley out of a Silvano Mir. I really like this flower alley breedings. And although it's drawn in Leven, that he did um, debut over the 1200 meters. I'm sure the 1600 meters is going to suit much better. And this horse was slow away, and but did manage to run 
a 2.23 over the 400 to finish, which was only the four fastest, but that is still fast, 22.3 over the 1,200 meters. And I'm sure this horse is going to just be suited to this longer distance. I also want to look at number four, Enrico Cicchetti. It's a grace in. It also debuted in a juvenile over 1,600 meters behind Pierre Self. The horse raced green. But if this 400 to finish is, is got to be left, then this horse must be in with a huge chance, although drawn 10. But as I said, on the Turfentine in stand side track, it's not such a big problem. So I'm looking for number four to run an improved race. Definitely a horse you need to put in all your calculations. Let's now scroll down to number eight, Summerdale. Summerdale is global view. The global views are really showing themselves by elusive Fort me. That would bring in the stamina. I know it in the Eastern Cape, it, 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 it is a very nice global view. I think he's run four races in a row now. And some other global view horses also won. And I'm sure that this horse, if you have a look at his first race, how it ran on from behind 23.4 fastest 400 to minis. Uh, and then last time out, he said in touch no more. Now, it, this, this in touch no more, uh, because the horse stood, showed some speed, it do indicate to me, if I can, in all my years, reading form, that the source, the 1600 meters will, will suit this horse. Kumara riding from draw five, I'm sure this horse is going to be there when the focus are going to be taken at the end of the race. Then we have number 10, Sets Liaison, that, that debut in, in March, has been gelded since, uh, that ran a, a nice race behind the contract, that stayed on, drawn 12, uh, are probably would also be involved in the finish, but that definitely not as not a certainty. Now let's move on to race number number three, which is a graduation plate over 1400 meters. Let's look at the betting. Race three, number um, six, catch 22 is now seven to two. Swinon Price four to one. Shahi Abakar five to one. Red ten eleven to two. Kingsley's Heart fifty to two. Thai Gold eight to one. Kanali eight to one. Hero set eight to one and twenty to one on number eight, the first timer. So yeah, also a very open race. Although it's a graduation plate, this horse hasn't, you know, they're still young, they're still improving. So although we have the best weighted column here, uh, that is not, it might not be a, a really good guide. But let's let me have a look at a few horses. Uh, in this race, I really do like uh, Kingsley's Heart. That day it won at 60-61. I said to the guys, I gave this horse to the guys that this horse on that breeding, that the 16, that the first two runs was far too short. This horse is going to go that distance and even longer. And I was proved correct. Last time out, just going down by 0.2 behind pure self. Pure straight them on board. Now getting the minus two and a half. And I'm telling you, the minus two and a half is definitely going make to make a difference for me, the horse to beat in this race. Then um, there's also other horses of chance. Ty Gold broke his uh, maiden in, in Scottsville the other day, ran on nicely. Um, also been also bred for a longer distance, and I'm sure this Ty Gold is also a horse with uh, potential. Swin and Sprite, Michael Atsy, that bring, bring uh, did break his maiden, also winning easily under 1450, can improve from the Red 10, won its first race. Um, also, the 1400 cans will suit, will probably be there when the focus are taken. And then we have Karnali. Uh, I really like Karnali. It's a Futura by a parade leader. I think uh, these Futuras are going to do well as they get older. Um, this last time it ran in a great, in a, in a great, uh, great two, uh, was beaten by the stable mate over 1400 meters. But I, I, it looks to me like this horse was set up to be the. The, pace, the, the, the pacemaker in the race for Nobris, because it's the same stable. Before that, it has been running there and thereabouts. And I'm sure the 1,400 meters will be within its scope. It's now got straight up on board. Catch 22, Paul Peter, um, is still a maiden, getting a few kilograms off. Um, has been beaten by one or two horses. But yeah, the 1,600 meters, it's a loser fought by Agronaut. Definitely bred for further. So definitely a horse to have a, uh, keep an eye on. And the same goes for number seven, Yerosint. Also a maiden getting three kilograms off. 
And we also have number nine, Shah Barkar, Kirari by Galileo Me. I'm sure this horse is going to improve because if you look like how this horse finished, I think that this horse, Shah Barkar, can be a big danger in this race, only carrying 56.5. So, all in all, a very open race. Let's move on to race number four, where we have a merit rated um, 103 handicap over 1800 meters. Class B, merit rating 85. Here yeah, the betting as follows. There's only five horses as there was two as, as there were two scratchings. Master Supreme twelve to ten, Western four two to one, Shogun twenty-six to one, twenty-three to four for chat and seventh of June. I'm not gonna dwell on, on this race. There's only five horses. Uh, my selection is Western Ford. Western Ford has run against some strong opposition, uh, a one and out of your league. And I do think that uh, Western Ford with Luke Ferraris on will win this race. Uh, Van Chatten, already a nine-year-old, but still running on, can be the biggest danger. Master Supreme, not out, without a chance, but I feel number one has run against and run against some strong opposition. Even if you look at out of your league, uh, that race behind out of your league, Western Ford, Ford uh, finished fourth, uh, quite a few lengths um, in front of, of um, Master Supreme. And also, if you look at on, on the 7th of March, behind got the, got the green light. Uh, the 7th of March got a green light. Uh, well, then that horse finished again um, in front of um, Western Ford. So they have run against each other, but I do feel that Western Ford will make the, uh, the, the, the improvement and duly won this race. Then we move on to race number five which is one of the open races on the card. Here we have a 2,400 Fadiza 74 handicap, class D65. Let's look at the betting. Here's the betting, 7 to 2, the field. Five Curvation, 7 to 2, Littlewood, 9 to 2, Illuminate, 7 to 1, Pink, 15 to 2, The Sash, 15 to 2, um, Number 10, uh, 11, 10 to 1, Dance of the Dragon, Ration My Passion, 15, 16 to 1, and better the rest. So um, I want to scroll down here to um, here. I'm looking at all um, number number eleven, Dance of the Dragon. Um, in the Dance of the Dragon, if you have a look, has run against some useful opposition and a little bit higher than she's running now. This is a um, a sixty six average rating. And she has run against 73, 75. But last, then it, what catches my eye is fastest last 400. No strong finish. Now, this horse is going for the first time over this distance. And if you look at the breeding Irish flame, Rambo dancer, this horse can, is bred to stay the whole day. So I'm looking at that five-year-old mare, Dance of the Dragon, 15 runs, 11, only one win and a few places. But I'm looking for her to improve today. And also at the nice price, you're looking at uh, 10 to 1 currently. Then let's, let's look at some other selections in this race. Um, let's just move on to the top again. Here we have number one, Illuminate. Illuminate has also run some, some decent races. Also a six-year-old me, uh, nearly time to go and breed, but still running. And has run again some decent opposition. Here you have Pompadour, Chatingo, 89. 97, Factor 50, Secret Potion. So definitely a horse that you need to include in all your play. Uh, this horse can run, has run against some good opposition. Definitely not to leave. Uh, Pierce Stratum here on Littlewood for uh, Udalakas, Lucky Udalakas. Has also run some decent races lately and can definitely be involved in the finish. Here we have Curvation. Curvation has also run, but uh, run against lesser classes than the formation but also in with a chance. As I say, this race really open, lots of chances. Um, now let's move down to race number, race number six. Which is a pinnacle stakes over 2,400 meters again. Um, yeah, here we also have a few horses with chances. Let's look at the betting first. American Indian, 11 to 10. Secret Potion, 15 to 4. 
Romadaris 5 to 1, Topshop 5 to 1, Lord Silvera in 13, the, the Bosbok 14 to 1, and 20 to 1, Brand Cad Brandon Cadillac 55 to 1, Earth Sky. So let's have a look at the form here. Um, in this race, I like uh, number two, Dromedaris. Dromedaris has always been a horse. He's, he loved this distance. He's had some good wins. He's run against some, uh, you know, serious opposition. Donor Salt last time out against Imperial Ruby. And I do believe that number two, Dromedaris, will be the horse to beat in this, in this field. Then also, um, I want to look at number four, Top Shot. Top Shot has also uh, run a few places over this distance. Always there and thereabouts, not too far behind. Yeah, you've got Chatingo. This race is uh, 87 uh, average, has run in 101, 75, 99, but already a nine year old, so cannot really improve. But, um, you know, nine year olds these days, they still win races. Uh, and then I want to have a look at number six, the Boss Bob. The boss box is a little bit out on the weights, but you know, this was beat out of your league. Out of your league came out and won the, the SA Derby, beating a few horses. That ran behind top shot um, last time out, a few runs back. But this is the type of horse that can, um, you know, uh, surprise. But again, also already a three year old. Then we have got others in this field. The American Dream did one last time out. Um, you know, it's surely not without a chance, American Indian. Um, but hasn't won over this distance before, so that might be a little bit suspect. Um, now, if you have a look at Romadaris carrying 54 and second behind Dawn Assault on the 17th of September, and here we have American Indian also running, and that's ran third on the uh, 17th, uh, fourth, on the 17th of September behind Dawn Assault, carrying 50, 57. So, and now they're carrying uh, four kilograms away, uh, difference. So definitely, I think the Romadaris can go, can do, can beat number one. But then we also have Secret Potion, who also won uh, the SA Oaks on her day. Uh, definitely, the dis distance is not a problem. Um, that run on behind American e uh, Indian last time, but that was too late. 22 seconds, last 400, which is not too bad. Also in with a chance. So let's now move on to race number seven. It's a graduation plate for three old fillies over 1,400 meters. Here we have um, War of Athena, 7 to 10, Elusive Women, 3 to 1, Sweet, uh, sweet and Spicy, 11 to 2, Fantasy Flower, 15 to 2, 16 to 1, and better the rest. War of Athena ran in the Alan Robertson, and she ran third, finishing 23 seconds, the fastest 400 to finish behind Veronice, over the 1,200 meters. She did fin finish behind anything goes, anything goes as one again after that. So surely the horse to beat in this race. Miss Elegance is scratched. Elusive Women getting minus four. That um, will bring her closer. I just want to check something here on the 18th of, 18th of June. Anything Goes ran in the same race. We ran 2.5 behind Anything Goes, number one. And Elusive Women ran in front of that. All right, but that get the minus four, so they are very close to each other. So I would not take the seven to ten on um, on 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 water of uh, things because Elizabeth Women is close to her. Um, there are other horses of chances, horses that has run well in the first race, like Fantasy Flower, Sweet and Spicy. Uh, but I do think that those two that are the four mentioned might be the stronger horses in the race. So I'll stick with them. So now let's move on to race number um, eight, where the betting is as follows. Number 10, Mama Quera, 9 to 2, 5 to 1, Maltia, Royal Lily, 13 to 2, Comanche, 7 to 1, Soul of Wood, 15 to 2, Temi, 9 to 1, 11 to 1, Empress Jofine, 12 to 1, Encryption, Kapama, 33, 22, Sweet of My Feet, Lorai, 22, 25 to 1, Zulu Dawn, and 13, Tandikere, 28 to 1. Guys, um, here I want to show you, uh, and because of the fact that lately Outsiders has won uh, either the, the second last leg or the last leg, I was looking for the Outsider in this race. And the best Outsider that I could find to win this race at 25 to 1 was this horse called Zulu Dawn. 
Now, if you have a look at this race, the average merit rating in this race is 79. Now, Zulu Dawn has run well in a 90, getting minus four again. Now it's already getting minus four again. Um, ran behind Solar of Wood. It, it, there's a big uh, advantage again in, in, because Solar of Wood is in the same race and do have a chance. Um, there it ran behind Rock and Russia in 89, 76. So I think and uh, that um, with the minus four, that Zulu Dawn is your biggest outsider that can win this race. So if you're looking for an outsider to win this race, Zulu Dawn is the horse. I did tip it for first. I'm putting my head on the line. You might be laughing your head up after the race. Um, I want to go to number 10, which is on a hat trick. But I just want to point out number 10 is now is running now against much stronger position. Last time she running against 69 and a 67. And uh, now she's on a 76 minute rating. You know, uh, you know, it is just that sometimes people, they create false favorites because of she won the last two. But you need to compare that opposition to the position she runs now. Yes, she is a four-year-old improving and she can keep on improving. But, uh, but my years of experience have showed me that it's difficult as you go up in the weights to, you know, to keep on winning. And this is, a, in my mind, a much open race than number 10. Uh, Mama Quera. Here we got Stratum riding for, for Romeo Francis. Now I can tell you, when Stratum rides for Romeo Francis, you must know that the business is on. And here we have, again, this horse ran behind Mama Quera. Uh, Mama Quera was four kilograms, four and a half kilograms down. Now they are, they are, there's a half kilogram difference. It makes a big difference for 3.7 lengths that can be, that can bring number nine much closer to Mama Quera. Then um, also in this race, we want to look at number number three. Royal Lily. Royal Lily has also run against some decent operation of decent horses. Sarah in the dance. Look at that, 94, 90, 91, 89, 85. Last time out against the 74. Run very well, very well. This was B divisions. Now she's running in a C division at 79. And I'm sure we have Craig Zaki on board. This horse will definitely be involved in the finish. Yeah, and there's many horses in, with chances in this race. Um, so this is a race where you want to go wide in your pick six. So let's move on to race number nine. Race number nine is a is a uh, classified stakes class D merit rated average sixty nine. Um, Number two, category four, 53 to 10, 15 to four, smoke, Western Oasis, five to one, nine to one, hidden agenda, 10 to one, Ward Julia, Ward Jew, Whipping Boy, 10 to one, Wells Harp, 10 to one, Coots Approval, 10 to one, and 16 to one, and longer the rest. Now, I found out a classified stake means that horses with a maximum merit rated of 75. So here we have a nine year old hidden agenda, still trying his best, uh, running his heart out. Um, you know, but age is catching up and he's always a little bit late, but can improve to win this race. But the horse that I would uh, uh, would like to go to is number five, Whipping Boy. Now, Whipping, this race is a 69. Whipping Boys has been running in 83 last time out in a, in a 68 with the size still on board. Came from, from stone last, second last, was running on strong near the end, but was just running on too late. I'm sure if Craig Zaki, even from the draw 13, can get this horse in, in, in the race. Because if you have a look here, Captain and Master, 98, 83, that whipping boy will definitely be running on best of all come the end of the race. And I'm he's my selection to win the race. And also I want to have a look at number four, Ward Jewel. Ward Jewel has also run here and there against some better position and has also been running on at the end. And uh, Kumala from draw three, I definitely think that this horse has got uh, a good chance because if you see, I mean, this horse is ran behind Shango. Shango found himself in the July. Marshall is currently after gelding three runs unbeaten. Flash Burn is not a donkey. Um, so, you know, definitely uh, for, would you do have a chance. And I want to scroll down here to number number 11. Um, number 11 is Western Oasis. I also believe this horse got a huge chance. Only drawback is the drawn 12. Sherman Brown riding, but I'm sure he'll bring this horse. And this horse has also been running on 
there and thereabouts, except for this one race, but always there and thereabouts, and I do think Western races can be due for his next win. So in this race, there's many horses, other horses with chances. Coach approval did improve last time to run a place. Oh, mercy with minus, minus one and a half can be involved, um, has run against some a little bit stronger position in some of the races, so not without a pre. Um, was Wells up, came after the rest, uh, didn't run too well, but did, did run improve race last time out. So there, as, as you can see, there's many horses, man. Toba, this horse lost all its form, uh, it's drawn 14. I can't see this one winning. So all in all, also a difficult race, and uh, yeah, um, lots of horses with chances. So that brings us to the end of our preview. I do have, I hope you have a, pro a profitable day. And as I always say, break a leg.